this is Danny Sloan. Welcome back to school. This year, we'll be sharing more online library tips and tricks, whether you are a librarian in a school library, a teacher in a classroom, or you want the best research for students at home. So if you've been to the online library this school year, to onlinelibrary.uen.org, you might notice that it looks a little bit different this year. That's because the online library has been divided into age-leveled libraries. So there is a place for elementary students, one for middle school, and one for high school. This makes it so that there is the most suitable resources for each age level. So go ahead and check that out. And now we're going to have our very special guest introduce herself. Hi, Danny. My name is Davina Southoff. I am the Library Media Specialist for the Utah State Board of Education. I'm really excited to be here with you. With you. So this is a new role for you, yes? How long yes. have you been doing this? Um, June 1st. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> So yeah, I'm learning a lot and I'm connecting with a lot of school librarians across the state, which has been really fun to see what they're doing in their schools and all the amazing things that are happening, especially now the school has started. So exciting. that's awesome. And were you a librarian before taking on this role? Yes, I was. I was a school librarian and then a district coach, a district tech coach librarian for Granite School District. So oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. I love it. Okay. One <laughs> of the questions that we always ask our teacher librarians is what is your favorite book? And I know that you had a little drama when, yeah, there were some eye rolls when I asked. <laughs> it. So have you narrowed it down? Yeah. My eye roll is literally, I just love to read. I've been a voracious reader since I was little. In fact, my dad would only buy me the half day ski pass when we would go skiing because I would go to the lodge for the other half and read all the rest of the day. So I have narrowed it down. Um, for my younger readers, I loved um, Skippy John Jones. He always had like some adventure and misadventure he was getting into and a learning message that along went with it or went along with it. So I really love Skippy John Jones. But then if I'm really thinking about what I read most often, it would be young adult and adult books. And um, an author that I really love who does a lot of historical fiction is Ruta Zepetis. And she said it that way. When I looked up her pronunciation, she said it with an S, but I think in Lithuanian, it's Shepetti. So anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, we will be sure to share that and we'll uh, put a link in the notes. So uh, let's go ahead. And you have an online library tip that you want to share today. What are you going to be teaching us about? I am going to show you a little bit about the Gale reference collections that are on Utah's online school library. And this is a database that all students in Utah have access to. And these databases are really great because they have um, videos, newspapers, magazines, and primary sources that are suitable for students of all ages. So really fun stuff. <laughs> okay, perfect. Let's see it. So let's dive right in and explore the Gale Reference Collections in Utah's online school library. So to access these databases, you will go to onlinelibrary.uen.org and on the main page, you have a choice to enter into the elementary options, the middle school databases, or the high school databases. If you choose elementary, you will see um, Gale in context for elementary. And then if you go into middle school, you will see both Gale in Context Elementary and Gale in Context Middle School. And then finally, if you go into the high school option, if you're a high school educator, uh, students can actually access all three of the Gale in Context reference collections. So um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the differences between the three and how they are set up to be suitable for the students that you're teaching. So first of all, I have already pulled up each of the databases here on the on my screen so you can see all three at once. And you'll see on the very far left hand side we have Gale in Context Elementary. In the middle we have Gale in Context Middle School. And on the far right side we have Gale in Context High School. And what I did is I searched for solar energy in each one of these um, 
databases. And from the very beginning, you can kind of see there are some differences right away. So the elementary version has a couple of, you know, high interest uh, sentences that are easy for students to read. Um, our middle school level has a little bit more context there, a, little, a few more sentences. And then if you read through the high school option, um, the word choice is a, is a higher level of word choice. Um, and so they really, you know, differentiated these databases to serve your students at the, at the age level that they're at. Um, additionally, when you're looking at what options you have in each one, so the elementary version is really set up for simple navigation for our younger users. So we want kids to be excited about learning and not overwhelmed. Um, you'll also notice that you know the images are engaging, the text is easy to read, um, and just it's just a very simple database to use. So. Inside of these databases, um, there's a couple of things that you want to be aware of. So first of all, you'll notice on the left-hand side here of each of the articles, we have a key. And these are our content levels. So um, one, one dot here would be our lower elementary. Uh, if you see like three dots would be middle school generally, four dots high school and then five dots would be a high school or above. So we have a quick key here to help kids know like, hey, this might be an article that's a little too difficult for me and I wanna kind of stick with a two dot or a three dot if I'm in elementary school. Um, the other thing that you can do inside of Utah's online library is um, you can filter by uh, Lexile level. So every article is tells you how many words it is and what content level it is, but also the Lexile level. So we can decide, you know, students can see like who's, who's the target audience, and then they can easily select text that is suitable for them. And one other thing I wanna point out is that um, the Gale reference collections are supporting our state curriculum standards. So um, you know that you're gonna find content in here that is gonna be suitable for um, whatever it is that you're studying in your classroom each year. So go ahead and check it out and shoot me an email and let me know like what you found and what you like about it. And if you need any support um, using this awesome tool, feel free to reach out to myself or to Danny. Thanks so much and have a great day. Davina, thank you so much for sharing that with us. You're a hero. Is there anything else you wanna share with teachers, librarians? Well, thank you for having me. The real heroes are our school librarians that are out there in schools and our teachers too. Yep. Yeah. Um, and hey, if anybody wants to get a hold of me, if they need any help, they want me to come out to their schools, um, join our UEN Library Media Listserv and or email me at davina.southoff at schools.utah.gov. So have a great school year, everybody. Thanks, Davina.